Hello everyone. Getting down to our last few videos probably of the year. It's kind of hard to do any rock polishing or rock cutting or rock hunting when the weather starts dipping and gets colder and colder and colder. So what I thought I'd do for the last video or two is uh, I've got this large bowl of different size, you know, different types of rock, different size rocks uh, that we'd set aside for slabbing or cutting or just taking a look. So I thought I would uh, set up my saw and uh, do some work on it. So got my saw out. I'm going to add some water to it. I've got the camera up to take a video of it and we'll see what we can cut and what we can come up with. Okay, got water in. Got some extra water down there in case I need it. All plugged in over there. Looking good. These are the rocks I started to start with. This is one we found on our most recent trip up north in our last ditch rock hunting effort. It's got lots of lovely swirls and stuff in it, so I'm trying to determine if it's chert, if it's sandstone, or maybe if it's, you know, just a bunch of limonite standing on top of something else. Don't know. Figured I'd give it a cut and see what it looks like inside. Got a lovely piece of magnetite. Thought maybe I could make some slabs. That might be one of the last ones I do. Got this piece a while ago. Set it aside for slabbing. Don't know what it looks like inside, but I'm curious. This one has bands in it that look like they may be agate-like, but it's unfortunately got a huge gouge in the side, so polishing it's going to be kind of rough. Thought maybe if I took a slab maybe right along here, I could see what it looks like inside, see if there's any agates or anything in this. This one is a piece of quartz, I believe, and it's got this lovely band that goes right through the whole thing. Thought it looked kind of neat. So maybe do some slabs out of that. We'll see. This one is one of those purple, yellow, red rocks that we find along Superior. Thought I would slab it up, see if I can make some good calves out of it. And uh, I don't know if I showed this one yet. This is another one we found. Got lots of layers to it. Just kind of curious to see what it looks like inside. Again, I have a whole other bucket of rocks down here I might dive into. As you can see there's quartz. There's sandstone there's unikite there's all sorts of stuff there's even omar right there omar um so i don't know i'll just play around cut some stuff up and videotape it and show you what we ended up with all right i'm gonna get started Okay, we finished cutting a few of these and I just wanted to pause and take a look at a few of them because some of them are really cool. I really like this uh, banded one here. I just thought that was really nice. Uh, let me get you out into the sunshine here. You can see those are just gorgeous. Those will be fun to polish up and turn into calves or slabs or something. That's just, it's beautiful. Pinks and yellows, all sorts of different colors. Really nice. So that was one of them I cut up. I cut that one up into multiple slabs. Another one I cut up. Let me get some more water here. It's this one and... I think that's the other half of it. This was the one that was multiple colored on the outside. So it kind of looked like that. The outside had lots of yellow stripes all the way through it and all over the place. So cut it in half and you can see there's a vein of quartz through it it's got lots of reds and yellows in it interesting looking I don't know what I'll do with it maybe I'll make some cabochons out of it that's kind of neat another one I cut up was this greenish one you dip that in water for you so this one ended up having kind of a agate like appearance inside it's kind of 
kind of cool as well. I may do some slabs out of this as well. well that's the one side. There's the other. And of course now the sun goes behind the clouds. So working with slabs like these, I mean it's easy because the end is flat, but as you can see, there you can see all the saw marks, so you have to kind of polish it down, but that's that's really cool looking. I'm excited about that. My hands were getting a little tired from running the saw. Um, so I ran a quick um, pudding stone that we had. I had a pudding stone that had just a single piece of jasper in it. And uh, I wanted to cut it open just to see if there was anything else. Because as you can see, that was the only piece of jasper that was visible on the whole stone. There's some other darker parts. Hey, the sun's back out again. But not really a whole lot more exciting inside. So, no harm, no foul. And then the very first one I cut up, this one I was kind of puzzled by. I thought maybe my saw blade was going dull because it took so long to cut. It was really hard. So, I don't think it's sandstone or mudstone. It may be church. I don't know, but it's really hard to cut. And you can see there's all sorts of nice swirls and stuff in it. It's brilliant yellow. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I may make some slabs out of that. That might be cool. We'll see. But yeah, that was the first one I cut. Let me do a few more here. We'll see. You guys see how my memory card's doing on my camera. I'm not very strong with using my camera yet to record videos, so hopefully it'll turn out. Otherwise, you get to see the end results at least. All right, I'm going to go back to cutting some more. Okay, so I was kind of taking a break right now. I found a few other rocks I decided I wanted to cut. So we'll start with this one. Pretty obvious, this is magnetite. I will probably make some more slabs with this. Of course, it looks a lot better when it's wet. But you can see the magnetite has just gorgeous patterns inside. If I can get some nice slabs of that, it's really nice to make some uh, pendants and some cabochons with. So that may be in the future for the rest of this rock. This one's kind of nice and flat on the bottom, see? It makes it really easy to just sit on the the, slot, the saw and just kind of go like this. Can't talk. I think it's on the slaw, but you never know what coleslaw will do. So I found this one that we must have set in there and I thought to ourselves, well, it kind of looks agate-ish. It's kind of got that, that brownish color, that reddish color. Kind of looks like it's waxy, might be an agate, but there's nothing obvious on the outside. So I thought, well, it's not doing us any good looking at the outside. Let's take a look at the inside, and that is really, really cool. I like that a lot. That may also end up becoming a pendant or two at some point. thought that was really neat. I found this rock in my, uh, got something in my nose there, my rock bin of rocks to cut. The outside it kind of looked like that. Not very exciting. The inside though, kind of nice. I like the way that looks. That also may end up becoming a cabochon or a pendant at some point. Some really beautiful rocks, just picking them at random, but they're working out pretty nicely. So yeah, they're, uh, things are going pretty well. Some really beautiful stones here. Again, we'll keep going. I got a few others over here I thought I might try. Problem is after a while, you're, you're hands get cramped up from pushing it through that. I also have carpal tunnel which doesn't make it easier and now the wind's blowing really hard so anyways some really cool looking stones. I really like these. These are kind of my favorites right now. I, uh, kind of water level beauties. Those are nice. Really like those. So I found another rock that's very similar to that one. You know, I may just see if I can get a few slabs out of this one too. I don't know. We'll see. Do some more cutting. If I do some more cutting, I'll do some more recording. 
and uh, we'll see what I can get into a video to uh, kind of tie out the year. Maybe extend it a little bit longer, but you know, there's only so much you can do when the weather dies down and the temperature. And right now, 70 degrees and just absolutely gorgeous. Maybe I'll cut that one too. So I'm just taking advantage of it and cutting what I can. I've obviously got tons and tons of things that I can cut or that I eventually want to cut. So we'll see. Okay, a couple more stones. So this one on the end has some agate-like end and an agate-like end. But everything on the outside doesn't look like an agate. So I thought maybe I'd just take a peek and see what's inside. And then this one we found on our most recent trip. And it's just interesting. I thought I'd give it a cut. See what we can come up with. Last few. Look at my master gun. There's just some blue in there. Look at that. Huh. Cool.
There you go. Alright, I think that's going to be it. And wash everything up and call it good. We'll be posting photos later on in the video of what everything looks like. Talk to you later. Oh, nobody told me that the lens was getting all spotted up from the mist. You guys gotta tell me these things. Might do a few more stones here. Just taking a pause. Let my hands have a break. I've got lots of beautiful stones here. Things I want to do stuff with. But i do a little bit more cutting. Get some of these pieces down to a reasonable size. I really like some of the way some of these are turning out. The wife had me do a uh, Charlevoix stone. That just looks amazing. I love that. That's really cool. So, I'm going to keep working on it. Might do a few more. See how we can do. Oh, mask up. Mm. Well, I think I'm about done slicing the rocks. I've got several in here that are quite ready for hitting the cab machine, so I'm very excited about that. Let me get a little water here, see if I got any more water in my bucket. Pour it in there. Give me a little bit of dampness. Let's see what they look like. So, Heather suggested I cut a Charlevoix stone, and that just turned out incredible. And uh, I got several really nice looking slabs out of it. But uh, I'm really looking forward to polishing up and turning into something cool. That's beautiful. Really nice. Um, this is one of those red, yellow, and purple stones that I cut. Again, looks really nice. I don't know if I'll be able to turn that into a cab. It's kind of thick. But we'll see what I can do. I also took a uh, piece of magnetite. Cut that into slabs. Pretty thick slabs, but hopefully I can make some stuff out of that. Because magnetite just looks really nice when it's all polished up. It's really cool looking. And then this stone, I wasn't sure what to expect from it when I initially cut it. But I'm glad I did because that's just amazing. It's really nice. I got several slabs of that in there. Those I can definitely turn into cabochons. Really pretty looking stone. It's very nice. Uh, another stone I had in here. Is this one it looked like that from the outside. I was quite sure what to think of it. But inside, that's just, that's amazing. I may be able to do something with that. It's not a very thick stone. But the other half of it might have some potential too, so. Very cool. This one here had a agate-like end on that end, agate-like side on that end, and agate-like agate -like, uh, end on this end. So I'm like, wow, if that goes all the way through, that'd be great. And kind of a little insult to injury. Sure enough, each of those sides has the agate bands. Well, it really doesn't go all the way through. And disappointing. Cool looking, but disappointing. Um... This one I cut just to see what it looked like inside. It had all sorts of white bands and bars and stuff across the outside. Not overly interesting inside, but I did manage to make a slab out of it. Thought I'd see what I could do with it, so that'll go in my slab pile. This one here was the first one I cut. This is one I was kind of interested in. I didn't know what it was. I thought maybe it might just be a whole lot of limonite stained rock. As you can see, it's really neat looking inside. It took forever to cut through really hard rock. So I don't know what it is, but set that aside for now. Uh, this one, if I can find the other half of it, was a piece of the purple, yellow, and red. So you can see purple, red, and yellow. And it had a piece of streak of quartz through it. Pretty interesting. I'm not sure I'll do anything much with that. Um, let's see, is that the other half of it? It was just another rock I cut in half. 
I mean, pretty interesting. Nothing overly exciting. I cut a uh, pudding stone in half, hoping to see more Jasper stuff inside, but alas, not a whole lot in it. This one, when I cut it, I was kind of surprised to see this stuff up here, which has some agate-like tendencies to it. I don't know if this is agate or not, but it might be worth just kind of polishing it up on the polisher. There's my other half of the multicolored one with the quartz stripe through it. This is another rock I cut. This has got lots of nice colors in it. I think it's quartz, but got some pretty colors in it. Um, that's the other half of the one rock I showed just a second ago. And then this one was fairly interesting on the outside. Lots of stripes. Looks like it may have some transparency. The inside is really nice. This one's got a really rough texture on the outside, so I'm not sure how well it'll clean up. The inside looks really nice. So maybe, maybe not. We'll see. These I didn't get to, this one and this one. I found another piece of magnetite that I cut, but that one didn't get cut, so I'll cut it another time. There's again the inside of that one rack. One thing that was kind of cool is uh, this rack here, the white one that I cut in slabs, had some some blue to it. You can kind of see it, like right there, where my thumb is pointing, that's blue. So I wonder if it maybe had some copper in it or something. This side's got a little bit easier to see. You can see it right in that crack. I wonder if that was like a seam of copper or something. It turned it bright, bright blue. So it's a very teal blue. Not easy to see on the iPhone, but very bright blue so that'll be something else I'm interested in taking a look at there's another end piece of one of the ones I cut so some cool stuff just thought I'd share it with you that's all I'm gonna do I might make another video if it stays warm enough out come out here and uh, maybe polish some of these up and see what I can do with them turn them into cabochons I think these might make some really nice gifts if I can get them into nice shapes but we'll see anyways thanks for watching I uh, hope you subscribe, and uh, otherwise, if I don't get back to the rock polishing, I will definitely see you next year.